that's a whole nother story, bro. Yeah, man. So did, yeah. so did. Shout out to the, my guy, Smalls. Yeah. It's, it's production, baby. Hey, and I noticed that you be working with him, like, most of the time. She's like, what, you know, what, what made you lock in with bro? Versus, like, you know, it's different. You know? Man, what made me lock in with bro? Shit, man. <laughs> I think. Because this uh, shit hard. I ain't gonna lie, this shit hard. Oh, yeah, this shit hard. Everything on point, bro. Shit. Man, actually, actually, my guy, uh, Rex, he, he put me on him. Rex and John. Yeah. Shit, that's, that's they brother, and now he my brother, you feel me, shit. And we been locked in ever since, you feel me? Yeah. So, I mean, I love everything. Man, man we, don't just, we don't just do videos, bro. We all out, bro, together, drinking, talking about our problems. And bro, he just came on my house yesterday, so. Yeah, that's how this shit go. Yeah, it's family, bro. Yeah. You feel me, so. Hey, but how your video, man, Out of Space Love came about? Like, like what made you, man, go out of space with it for real? Man. Yeah. <laughs> what made me go out of space? I mean, really, I ain't know who, who talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I said, man, I'm going to do something different. Because, you know, my music ain't like everybody else. Music. Yeah, I like, that I like I'm on that electric, pop, you know what I'm saying? Rockstar type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think I'm going to come on some trap shit. I want you to think that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to come like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I just, that, that's just how I want to come. I want to come different. You know what I'm saying? And that's what turned. Me into outer space a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's how I feel about it. That's how that's what made me come with out of space a little. Yeah, for sure that, for sure that. Hey, uh hey, speaking of like you not making you making music different from other artists and shit. Hey, why you think, bro, these day all you hear about on the radio <laughs> or YouTube or the big artists rapping about man, switches, drinks, fucking nigga beats, you hear me? Stealing your car, like I like why you think this shit like there was a nigga promoting right now? Bruh, me personally, I think I think they really coming about this shit because they really they really ain't touching this shit, bruh. And if, even if they is touching these switches and glocks and all this shit, they ain't really doing nothing with this shit, bruh. Yeah. Bruh, you ain't got to talk about it, bruh. You know what I'm saying? If you about it, shit, hey, a motherfucker try it, then you be about it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Not just coming up, just holding up niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just stealing shit. Man, That's what broke niggas, bruh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, where you get your musical inspirations from, though, bro? Uh, man, actually, I get my music, uh, musical inspiration from Future, yeah, uh, Ace, uh, A Boogie with the Hoodie, uh, Lil Uzi Vert, uh, the yeah, E Hard, yeah, yeah, E Hard is it? Yeah. Shit, I mean, mainly that's just them right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. But you know, my my favorite number one artist is Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Man, I would have thought Future, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He number two. Yeah, <laughs> he hey, number two. Hey, what is it about Gucci though that make him your favorite artist, bro? I see. Back then, like I said, back then I had my times. I was doing this, doing this. You know what I'm saying, man? Uh, I love that he was. He was just rapping this shit and being about this shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not just rapping this shit and then on the real life he ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, man, good. And his music is just, it had me amped up, you know what I'm saying? So I just love that shit. And then it all fell together because, you know, I'm power ruining everything. So, yeah. you know, it all fell together. Yeah, for sure. Hey, look, I hey, am, bro, a hell of a CEO. Hey, how you feel about the internet and the blogs? They always like, uh, he on the side, gangsters, nigga, that go to jail. And, and some of his artists be dying and getting killed and shit. Like, how you feel about, like, the internet portrayal of it? Man. Talking about as far as with with like, Chris Seventeen and them. Yeah, like motherfucker be saying like he, he on the side street niggas nigga that go to jail, like, you know. Sitting I mean, there. shit, that's what he doing. <laughs> shit, <laughs> that's what he doing. But I mean, he he getting out there era now. Yeah. You know, he signed the I don't. He signed the white dude. Yeah, the white dude. Yeah. So he he trying to you know slow roll it, and that's what he need to do. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Pooh Shice and my Pooh John, all of them. But you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a time and place where we gotta do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for man, sure. they need to just might come off some different shit. You know what I'm saying? They're my guys, but it's time for a change, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. It's for time sure. for a change. Hey, bro, in a perfect world, bro, who would you sign to? In a perfect world, who would I sign? To? Yeah. <laughs> hey, shit. I actually, I uh, I signed a future, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> I signed a future for real. Hey, free man. Hey, free look, man. Hey, that crazy look, bro. I was just gonna ask you this for hey, ATL Jacob. <laughs> Hey, ATL Jacob said future more influential than Tupac. And I really thought this shit was crazy like when I first read it. But like now I think about it, I be like, man. I mean So what do you think about that, bro? I mean shit. My if 
if Tupac, we we had to see if if he was still alive, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? To see who who overweight one another. You know what I'm saying? Because now it is future. You know what I'm saying? He done put that time in. He done put that time in, yeah. bro. Shit, Tupac died at a young age, so we'll never know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, man, say, man. This your boy Greg Wapalata. Get, man. Make sure you check in and like, share, and subscribe to Yeah, Man TV.